Residents of Libertad are left in a state of shock after several devastating incidents occurred in secession within just three days. On Saturday, March 2nd, police responded to the reports of a road traffic accident between mile 74 and 75 of the Philip Golson Highway. When police arrived at the Corozal Community Hospital, where 20-year-old Jaquan Smith was receiving treatment for his injuries, he revealed that his wife had been murdered in their shared home in Libertad. The body was discovered by an Orange Walk taxi driver who had been contacted by Kyle's parents to investigate the scene on their behalf. There, he found 41-year-old Brianna Kyle deceased on her couch with multiple stab wounds. Also in the house was Kyle and Smith's infant child, unharmed aside from being left unattended to. According to residents of the neighborhood, the couple had recently moved in after Kyle's father, Leo Kyle, purchased the house. I don't know them by name. I just saw them one day when, 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 I, when I came from Belize and saw them uh, who, who was who, who, the person who, who, who bought the house from John Nelson, from my boss. He owned it, but he sold it to, uh, to Mr. Leo, the, 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 the previous, the, the, the last owner who, who they said they, they killed her daughter. Okay. So how long has Mr. Leo's family been living in there? Oh, well, they just came down from the States, I would say about two months, not so long. According to Tech, the couple was unfamiliar to most of the villagers, since they had recently relocated to Libertad and that the house was a short distance from their nearest neighbor. Are they um, integrated into the village? Do people know them well? No, 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 not no much. The only one guy know him, uh, the guy that do, do mechanic work for them, uh, a guy to the back there. Yeah? So that, that he's the one who, who the... the when Mr. Leo heard that they, that they killed his daughter, he, he called the guy and told him to take care of the baby while he come back from the States. Upon hearing the news, Kyle's father flew to Belize on Sunday, but would receive more unfortunate news as the suspected murder was found dead in his prison cell this morning at Corozal Police Station. According to the police commissioner, Chester Williams, Smith died by hanging himself. We had an incident in Corozal where a young American fella was accused of killing his wife. Mm -hmm. um, he was eventually intercepted by the police at a traffic accident scene in Corozal and taken into custody. This morning the police went to clean a cell. He was in a cell black alive and well mm -hmm. and the, the police left to retrieve the prisoner food and return about 10 minutes later and upon return they found him hanging in the cell by his pants with his pants. So he took off his long pants that he was wearing and uh, hung himself, so he is now deceased. Uh, Williams stated that the police overseeing Smith's detainment had carried out their duties correctly and that the situation was an unfortunate incident. Very unfortunate situation. I know that um, some might want to say the police could have done more, but the police would normally do cell block checks like mm -hmm. every half an hour. Mm -hmm. And if they had just cleaned the cell and 10 minutes returned with food to feed the man, I, I, couldn't, I will not be able to see where the police would have faltered in that situation. So it's an unfortunate situation, but again, we have to deal with that. Brittany Gordon for News 5.